This is the talking point on Twitter and social media. Certainly, it's a language war that's taken uh, at this time a victim, none other than the music maestro A.R. Rahman. At a concert held in Wembley in the UK, fans uh, were angry because the Mozart of Madras sang most of the songs in Tamil, or at least many songs in Tamil. While some walked out of the concert saying they were disappointed, some of them even went on to demand a refund because they had to sit through the entire concert. Uh, and uh, many on Twitter uh, then argued on the social uh, media platform. Uh, this remains uh, one of the uh, biggest talking points on uh, Twitter, Facebook, across social media. Uh, do remember this is a concert that A.R. Rahman had organized in Wembley. This name of the concert itself uh, is in Tamil. A.R. Rahman himself a Tamilian and uh, of course uh, made his mark in the Tamil film industry before he began exploring the world of Bollywood and then on to Hollywood and the international stage as well. And uh, my colleague Latash Nivasan is joining us uh, from Chennai for uh, more on this. Lata, could you take us through what exactly happened? This was uh, a concert with a Tamil name, wasn't it? Yes, absolutely. This is a concert at Wembley, which was titled Netra Indra Nalai, which means yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And it was obvious that, you know, he, there would be Tamil songs involved, considering the title of the concert itself was in Tamil. And more importantly, A.R. Rahman is known as the Mozart of Madras. Absolutely. Everybody knows that he is from Tamil Nadu. He's a proud Tamilian. Um, and uh, it was very surprising when uh, many of the Hindi-speaking audience walked out saying that, oh, he's singing all these songs in Tamil. Uh, any reaction at all uh, uh, from any of uh, Rahman, Rahman's close associates at the, the film industry uh, in Chennai? Yes, absolutely. Many of them have uh, spoken to us and even reacted on Twitter saying that, you know, it's a bit um, funny in one way and sad in another way that they don't recognize the fact that A.R. Rahman is the million. He entered the Tamil film industry with Roja, with Mani Ritman with Roja and then went on to do Hindi films. And some of his best songs, in fact, are in summer. They're not in Hindi. Yes. And he won the two-time Oscar winner as well, which is un, you know, which is unheard of in India. He's the first Indian music director to have won, you know, uh, this worldwide recognition. And it's surprising that the audience is not familiar that he is a Tamilian, and his primary um, uh, work area is in the in the summer film industry. Uh, just, perhaps just a sign of how intolerant we are becoming, all of us, in fact. Uh, uh, Needless to say, many of A.R. Rahman's songs were originally made uh, in Tamil and then uh, they, of course, uh, uh, were copied in H uh, Hindi films as well. But don't they say, Lata, that music really has no language? If you appreciate music, you will appreciate it uh, no matter whichever language it's in. Absolutely. When Indians can listen to world music and talk so highly about world music, you know, regional music should have absolutely no barriers, irrespective of the language. And it's surprising that, um, you know, some some people in the audience felt he wasn't singing Hindi songs. Because, like you said, like music uh, has no barriers, has no language. And what you hear, if it sounds beautiful, irrespective of the language, you are going to appreciate it. Uh, absolutely. Uh, uh, but a first of sort, Lata, this hasn't happened ever before uh, at any concert. Forget about an A.R. Rahman concert, that too. Yes, exactly. But I think what happened is A.R. Rahman has become so popular um, that uh, people have certain expectations from him. And considering he is in, you know, a Hollywood, he's in Bollywood, and now he's in Hollywood, maybe... Some people in the audience who are ignorant, I must say, went to the concert thinking, oh, he would sing a lot of Hindi songs because he's also done Hindi music. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, the, the title of the concert itself was in summer, which shows that it would be centered around summer songs. Stay with us, Lata, because I believe we're getting one reaction uh, uh, on this uh, controversy that's now erupted. Um, it is really sad and at the same time, funny to hear that a few North Indians walked out of Rahman's concert because he sang a few Tamil songs. Uh, it is a Tamil concert. The concert was titled Netri in Rinalai and walking inside a Tamil concert and expecting Hindi songs is uh, really sad. And uh, Rahman never uh, identifies himself with uh, He always sees him as a world citizen. He uh, speaks music. He speaks love.
And uh, Lata Srinivasan continues uh, to be with us uh, from Chennai. Those are some of the images of uh, the concert in Wembley that uh, we were talking about, a concert, of course, that carries uh, a, a Tamil name. Uh, uh, Lata, in fact, I remember all the way back to Roja when uh, A.R. Rahman, in fact, uh, grabbed the national attention with the release of his first Hindi film. It was known that he'd established himself in the Tamil film industry. Uh, he'd already made that film uh, in, uh, in Tamil. And in fact, I remember listening to those songs as well way back, uh, perhaps in the early 1990s. Yes, exactly. And Rahman is somebody, you know, who uh, has never, um, though he is a familiar, he's uh, like, you know, Madan Karki said, who's worked extensively with him. He's a world citizen. He considers himself a world citizen. And, and he has people, has singers from all around the world, has technicians from all around the world who are part of his crew, who uh, sing for him as well as who are musicians, you know, on his crew. So it's, considering that he comes, you know, he is a world musician, why should a segment of the audience see him as somebody from Bollywood? It's very, very surprising. Absolutely, and where we need to respect on the world stage each other, each other's languages, each other's uh, preferences and cultures as well if we need to leave, live in this globalized world. Uh, thanks for that, Lata, but do stay with us.